Well, okay, welcome back to part uh, two. So, I can't do too much of that. Right, uh, more advertisement. We are quite mangled at the moment, so. We're like the mangles in fucking Home and Away. In about 1980 fucking nine. We are dingled, only got fucking cloth on. Right, what's going on? Right, Source is doing its shit. Um, right, I have actually technically made an executive decision. I have fucked off the uh, green uh, green pepper. We're not going green pepper now. The uh, uh, oh, the chipotle chili flakes that I did whiz in now, and obviously because I was rambling, I completely forgot. I've whacked them in there, so don't worry about it. They are in. So if you are a chipotle fucking chili pepper fanatic, your 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 guy is in the hood. Right, okay. Bit of oil. Let's do it then. He's going to splatter and splatter, and that's how we can deal with it, right? We've got issues and communications that we have to get sorted out. Now, Ron, yes, we are dingled. And uh, I was, uh, yeah, I mean, like, you know, I mean, on the um, on the situation, uh, this is to Sergeant Major Ron. Uh, on the situation, I'm not forgetting, I need to do a shout out. We are on 280, don't worry, I'll come back to you, Sergeant Major Ron, second. Uh, we're on 280 gang members now, so we're getting some serious fucking business going on. Um, you know, I'm not saying I'm not doing, I'm just saying that we are amazing and everyone else who watches the channel is amazing as well. Special Spoon is out. Right, okay. Uh, yes, Sergeant Major Ron. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously the geezers had uh, issues. I reckon he's probably been uh, dumped or rejected in the past. It does happen. Right, it's not an un I need to turn this down a little bit, it's getting a bit too spicy. I want him cooked, but I don't want that fucking cooked. Um, yeah, he's probably had um, like major problems in the past, but that does happen. You know, sometimes people can't deal with rejection. Uh, like, you know, like I said, my situation's I wouldn't say it's uncommon, I wouldn't say it's uncommon, it probably has happened before. Um, I mean, what did I hear ages ago? I was, like, I'm talking like I was a postman back then, and uh, I'm talking about probably like 2000, coming up to 2010, it's still like 2009 maybe, 2010. And I used to listen to like a radio on me uh, uh, as I was walking about delivering letters and that. And then this uh, news story, this story come up, I think it was, what station did I used to listen back then? I think it was LBC. Well, obviously I don't listen to LBC now because they're completely fucking rainbow. But um, but then uh, this news story came up, this geezer who was married for like 30 years, um, and basically ditched his wife and went off to uh, uh, meet and go with his um, uh, school girlfriend in America. So he was American. And uh, yeah, and he, when he got over there, so he divorced his wife, like dumped his wife or whatever, I don't know. And uh, when he got over there, she turned, she turned out to be and had turned into a, um, a sort of transvestite -y thing. So, like, she'd gone from, no, like a, yeah, she a lesbian or something like that, I don't know. But basically, um, and he was completely fooled, and, uh, yeah, just ruined his life. I mean, what a twat. I mean, mine weren't quite, obviously, like that. But there are, there has been times, there definitely has been blokes out there that have, you know, decided or thought it was a good idea to fuck, not fuck the relationship, just, I don't know, under different circumstances, and other massive reasons behind it, and then like a year or two later, I realised that was a really bad idea. But it's the it's the consequences that the ramifications of it that that go into the future, and it all catches up you. Know, at the end of the day, it all catches up you. Know. So the way that I've dealt with it, I'm gonna put the right before we go on any more about fucking uh, being a fucking clairvoyant or whatever you call it, or a fucking auntie mate or Auntie Maggie or fucking whatever. Right, now we have got, we've got 18% beef fat in here, but I've also got in here, 
is some pork mince as well. So we've got beef mince, which is 18% fat, and we've got pork mince as well. So we've got two different flavours. I haven't seasoned it at all yet. I just want to cook it, let it cook out first with the onion, right? Um, yeah, so there has been them situations, and in them situations, it's, it's extremely hard, you know, it's extremely hard to come back from that without there being any notable, notable effects, which uh, I obviously had. So, you know, but the crossbow geezer, um, you know, at the end of the day, nothing in life is guaranteed, right? Nothing in life is guaranteed. So maybe he done something, maybe it wasn't his fault. Who knows? But what I do know is you don't go round and fucking, like, crossbow your fucking uh, your ex-girlfriend and, and her mum and, and whatever. So I just think it's utterly, utterly ridiculous. So, but, you know, it's evil as well. So... What can you do? Anyway, right, we're getting on to this situation now. Enough about that and all that business. Right, so we need this up full whack now. I need to full charge on this, right? Now, we now we've got the sauce. That is like, right, once I put them, because um, I, I obviously I whizzed up, whizzed them up in part one, started talking bollocks, and then realised in part two, I thought, hang on, I might actually put them in. I didn't. I whizzed them up, they're now in. Now they have made a quite a big difference and also I've also put more chocolate in this as well. So the, if you see the same amount of chocolate I put in the first time, I put the same amount in the second time as well. Oh fucking hell. Yeah, so it has laugh really giving it some right really groovy flavours now. Right, so now what's gonna be happening is obviously, I don't even need to explain this to you, you are too amazing. So, got obviously the steams coming out of the meats, and and that's where we're gonna start to get the onions. Like, don't do them separately or anything like that. Just do them all together. So we've got the onions, shallots, and all that business. Right, I'm gonna whack in a, I am gonna, I'll do what I'm gonna do instead. I'm gonna put in some garlic powder instead. So I'm going to do a lid's worth, or about half a lid's worth, because it is quite potent stuff. And we'll put a bit of garlic, and I'm going to put in about the same amount of oregano as well. So it's dry, so it should be fine. I'm not too concerned about, I want to give it a bit of a dry up anyway, and that will help. So, I haven't sorted it yet at all. I might do that, I might do that now actually. Right, so the uh, jacket potato is basically cooked. I'm just going to warm that through and get it up to a certain situation. Right. Right, we're not doing any like niche stuff. Right, so what's going on with Double Agent 119? So, okay, so we've lost two, well, We've got one crew member down. We've got another crew member who has sadly passed away due to injuries. I mean, Mitchies are really going through some libel shit now. Uh, they've actually put out orders and they've ordered another crew member to go downstairs and unlock all the animals and let them roam around down in the bowels of uh, the Noah's Ark, mini Noah's Ark of Double Agent 119's mini Ark ship. Um, I've actually uh, come out of a Zoom meeting and I've been highly against this and they've said well if you, you don't do that then apparently the, uh, the machines I thought were used for food are only there literally to supply water, there's no food. So I said well what the fuck do you expect, what, why? I said A why let them on the ship in the first place and B why let them on the ship in the, in the first place with fucking no food. That's the second point. So, they had no answer to this yet. Apparently, they left this uh, decision in the hands of an extremely inexperienced junior lower echelons of Mitch, which I never knew about. Right? So, I said, well, that's quite, a, that's quite an important factor. I'm going to whack a bit of sea salt. 
the red black pepper. And I said, well, that's quite an important factor to be honest with you. I mean, you know, you can't be just saying to people, well, you know, fuck it, yeah, go and build your Noah's Ark. But secretly, behind the scenes, we're going to fill it with lion tigers and fucking grizzly bears and the fucking escapee chimpanzee and timber wolves as well. So, um, the unlocking of the cages has not happened. Uh, luckily, Double Agent 119 has got the wherewithal not to uh, enact that movement. So, that's all good in the hood. So, I'm not, so I'm quite pleased, and so no one else has actually fucking perished. Uh, but what they are going to do is they're going to uh, rendezvous or try to rendezvous with the nearest island that they can, which is about another 24 hours away. But there is a slight problem. There is a crew member that is, I'm going to turn that, that source completely off now because that is like, so let's go for the source because we're not doing our, we're not doing our due diligence, are we? So, right, okay, so that's the source. Alright, so we've got some nice, some nice bits that haven't completely deed on family related or anything like that. So that's going to be really nice, alright? There we go. Alright. Right, like I said, jack of potatoes still in the oven, alright? Right, let's turn, let's turn the jacket off, actually. We really do need to get colour on this. I mean, this is where we need to get this up to a certain sort of specification. Yeah. So we've added in some dry spice, we've added in all the things, but what we haven't added in yet is the beans. Now, the beans that I've gone for is obviously I've gone for red kidney beans. Yeah. Um, I believe there isn't quite enough red kidney beans in the actual mixture itself. So we have got red kidney beans. I'm being quite rude now because I'm actually not talking to the camera. Right, I can't do that. Right, I was going to put in another tin, but we haven't got it, so that is my bag. Right, well, your bag as well. So it's right, it's fine, it's fine. So we've gone for red kidney beans and cannelloni beans. Right, and they've been rinsed off in cold water and they've been doing their thing for ages. So we're going to whack them in. They're all clean as chips, yeah, they're all clean as chips. Right, these are all like the little processes that you learn like when you work in the kitchen. See, I mean, I know I do slag off. I know I do slag off, um, oh shit. Uh, I've got that turn off now. We'll turn it down. Well, I'm having a Christine at the moment, hang on. Right, I know I do slag off a lot of like home cooked chef, but sometimes they just get the processes wrong. Hang on a second. Yeah, so they sort of like get like the processes wrong and things like that. It's not like their fault. It's just, you know, it's like the other day, like somebody that I'm not going to mention, like somebody the other day that I'm not going to mention, let's uh, have a little look at this, what we've got, right? That's the mince, it's all done, it's all going to be nice and juicy, right? So we're going to keep the fat that's ever that's come out of there, and now we're going to whack the sauce on, right? Yeah, so anyway, there's another person that I will shall not mention. Um, and he done a uh, chicken scampi uh, with parmesan rice. I don't know why you'd want to add uh, parmesan to rice, but he did. Um, and he actually spelled it wrong as well. So you even spelled uh, parmesan wrong, uh, Mr. Um, Mr. Man. Um, yeah, with um, a sort of parsley and garlic. So basically parsley, garlic and butter drizzled on some rice. Now the scampi chicken, all it was, but well, you can't have scampi chicken because scampi, the scampi is a fish, my friend. Okay, so you can't have that, that's mental. Well, I'm probably gonna have to let this cook down actually. But, well, I am going to have to let it cook down because it's, you know, there's a load of it, which I want, but this is for me, 
Turkey in a week. Anyway, so yeah, so basically what he did, which is uh, fair enough, you know, but don't call it scampi chicken. You can't have scampi chicken, right? It, scampi is a fish and chicken is fucking not a fish. So anyway, I don't know, understand why he got that wrong. That's really weird. That's that. It's not. It's weird. It just shows like real lack of like even basic knowledge of what a fucking vegetable is. You know what I mean? It's like it's not just him. It's like um, remember me talking about the kitchen porter who progressed to go over into um, doing the cooking and things like that. Like she's only like 18, 19. And the other day, there's been loads of things, I can't say anything, but there have been loads of things. But the other day, she actually uh, come out of the fridge holding a cabbage and asked another one of the chefs, is it a cabbage? And I'm like, are you joking me? And you're there cooking the food or do, prepare, or doing stuff. And I'm like, you know, you, you have to know exactly, like, roughly what the fuck you're doing and what you're working with, really. So it's quite mad. There's things like that. So, right, well, I'm obviously, I'm going to have to, I don't know if I'm about to get this done, done in time now. I mean, I've got hardly not much beer. I'm really low on special fag, and this ain't done yet. I've done the Jackie Potato. Uh, it's fine. That'll be cool. That's cool. That's good in the hood. I'm just going to keep it on a nice warm. Um, we're going to have to let this cook out, so this is going to have to be a part three, isn't it? It has. Yeah, so anyway, so things like that, you know, you, you know, I can understand the home, the real home home cookers who don't even work, like I said, I'm not a chef, but I do work, at least I work in a kitchen, so I'm, I'm, I'm picking up lots of processes of what they do and things like that, or getting there, you know what I mean, it's like, obviously, I'm, I'm only doing a meal for me, I'm not fucking doing a meal for like, 150 people or whatever I mean fucking hell that's a different thing that's why it's every kitchen's different but you have to know there's an there is at least a system that is in place for it all enabling to work and uh, the man with his uh, wild food um, he, he basically just cut up some chicken thigh fried it Poured some garlic and fucking parsley, buttery stuff over it with some cheese and some rice. I mean, oh, I just can't. Do you know? I do you know why? I mean, actually, I see what he done a chocolate pie thing. Um, he didn't even make the pastry. He brought that in, which is cheating. Um, he made that. That was okay. I mean, but I mean. Like, I don't mind it, you know, but if, if people are watching that, they can do that sort of shit themselves. Yeah. Um, I'm the sort of the same, but I like to just bring different qualities to it. Yeah. I mean, I do, I attempt, I'm attempting, I'm a kitchen porter, and I'm attempting to do some of the things that I see at work or where I see it. Yeah. So it's a different sort of thing, right? So we're a couple of levels ahead, but to be honest with you, right, it doesn't really take much. All you need is a little bit of common, yeah, a little bit of common, yeah, and all that sort of stuff. Right, I'm going to have to call that a part two. There's nothing I can do. Right. And I'll have to say, I hope you enjoyed it. It's going to be a part three. It's going to be a bit later. I've got special duties in the morning. So I'm going to be a mess. Right. My name's Hope Furious Hose. I'm doing a chicken, uh, a jelly con carne. I've got fucking chicken wild creation man on the brain now. I'm doing what I'm doing. And I'll leave with you. See you later.